Unpacking your new Gravity Key Tether for the first time. The Gravity Key Tether prevents you from losing your keys. There are two parts to the gravity, the key unit and the belt unit. The key unit can be easily removed or undocked from the belt unit. The key unit can be easily redocked to the belt unit. If the key unit is improperly docked, it will alarm, warning you to redock correctly. Using an electronic tether and dual alarm system, the gravity helps keep keys within close proximity of the user. The belt unit emits a strong vibration and a chirp alarm, while the key unit emits an 85 decibel audio alarm and a bright LED strobe light. The gravity key tether's case is made of a strong ABS material known for its impact resistance and toughness. The gravity is powered by two AAA batteries, one in the belt unit and one in the key unit. The batteries will last approximately six to nine months. Once either of the batteries reaches a 20% capacity, the unit will begin chirping like a smoke detector. That means it's time to replace both batteries. You will find the gravity serial number and certifications label directly below the batteries. You will want to select the belt clip that is just right for you. The open loop belt clips come in two sizes, one and three quarter inches and two and a quarter inches and two strengths, standard and extra strong. The one and three quarter inch size fits perfectly with a standard sized belt. The two and a quarter inch is designed for a duty belt, Sam Brown or utility belt. There is also a two and a quarter inch closed loop clip. This clip must be slid onto the belt and it will not come off without you removing your belt and sliding it off. Be sure the center tab of the clip is bent outward slightly. Slide the belt clip between the center rails on the back of the belt unit. Listen for the click of the tab locking in place. Now that you've selected the proper clip for you, slide the clip onto the belt unit of your gravity key tether. If for some reason you wish to remove either of the two and a quarter inch clips from the belt unit, it can be done by using a small flathead tool. Lift up on the center prong and slide up. It's time to attach your ring of keys to your gravity key tether. There are advantages and disadvantages to utilizing different rings. Metal rings can, over time, develop a small burr around the ring holder opening. Plastic coated rings do not. Selecting a key ring that can be permanently crimped or sealed will prevent someone from removing a key, copying and replacing the key without anyone knowing. Using sealed or crimped rings requires the ring be cut in order to remove the ring or to add or remove any keys. This requires the replacement of the ring. Tether Technologies offers a variety of rings for purchase on our website. The ring holder on the gravity has been tested to hold the weight of hundreds of keys. If you are using any kind of key box with limited space to secure your key sets when not in use, you can use the gravity unpairing station to put the key unit to sleep prior to storing your keys. As you can see, the unpairing station looks identical to the belt unit, but is clearly marked unpairing station. The unpairing station does not require batteries, nor, of course, a belt clip. It can be easily mounted using two-sided tape to a surface near your key box. As you can see, we have mounted ours right against the key cabinet. Unpairing your key unit from the belt unit is as easy as one, two, three. One, Remove the key unit from the belt unit. Two, touch the key unit to the unpairing station and wait for the three beeps from the key unit, followed by three beeps from the belt unit. The key unit is now unpaired from the belt unit. And three, hang the key unit in your key cabinet and place the belt unit in a drawer or leave on your belt. Repairing your gravity key unit to the belt unit is even easier. Place the belt unit on your belt Remove the key unit from the key box or cabinet. You have approximately seven seconds to repair your key unit to the belt unit, or it will start alarming. If this happens, you can either place the key unit back in the key box, or immediately pair it to the belt unit. Simply snap the key unit onto the belt unit and listen for the two beeps. This tells you that pairing is complete. To learn more about Tether Technologies, visit www.stopkeyloss.com.